God creates you? Why are you on this earth? Remember that there have been people here before you came. And when our own season and time is up, if Jesus tarries, there will still be people who will be here. The question we should ask ourselves is, this is your time. In this your season, are you living to fulfill the reason why God placed you on this earth? With me. How do you glorify God with your life? How do you love him? You love him by deciding to serve him. You glorify him by deciding to what? Serve him. Your stewardship to God is the expression of your love for him. Your stewardship to God is the expression of your glory for him. That's how we love. That's how we glorify him. Now, until the devil can make you think in a certain way, he cannot make you act in a certain way. If you are here, for instance, and you don't have a good relationship with God, it's because of the way you are thinking. Until the devil can get you to think wrongly, he cannot get you to act wrongly. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That is why the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of your heart flows thy issues of life. And like Eve, most of us today are not fulfilling our purpose in the hands of God because the devil has changed the way we are thinking. You may not know it, but he has gotten you to think in a certain way. When it was time for Jesus to fulfill his purpose of going to the cross, even Jesus did not want to die. The Bible said the Lord Jesus entered into that garden. That was the only time you saw Jesus negotiating with God and say, Oh God, let there be another way. Let this cup pass over me. Let this cup pass over me. But God kept quiet. If you will not live to fulfill, if you want to keep following success, go ahead. God did not say anything. Jesus prayed for three hours. He did not want to continue on the path that God wanted him to continue. He wanted to do other things than serving God. Finally, the Lord Jesus got to the point where he said, I'm going to fulfill your purpose. Not my will, but your will be done. If Jesus struggled before he could serve God, if that man walked away, don't think that one day you will sleep and wake up and realize that now you want to start serving God. Don't think that that day will come where you just sleep and wake up and you, your mind will just say, hey, oh boy, how you don't they go, oh yeah, start serving God. To serve God, you have to fight for it. It requires a fighting spirit to serve God. If you are not a fighter, you cannot be a servant of God. You will keep on chasing money till the last breath of your life. If you don't fight to, to live, to, to, to live yourself. If you are alive and you are not thinking about the reality of eternity, the devil has scammed you. And this is what the devil wants. To keep us busy, to keep us doing other things, and never think about the fact that one day, if Jesus tarry, you will cross. See that to serve God will require effort. To serve God, you have to fight for it. Look at your prayer life. You spend more time chasing money than you do on your news with God now. You spend more time on Facebook, on social media reading newspaper than you do reading your bible now hey it's a trap it's a trap wake up wake up wake up it's a trap it's a trap and so many people are falling victim of that thinking there is no consequence but i've just shown you eternity is a reward you will not just enter into it you have to work for it you have to serve your way into it i pray today that you break out of whatever has held you bound from fulfilling your purpose to serve God in the name of Jesus. Break out of it. Break out of it. The devil is the one deceiving you. There is consequence awaiting those who don't serve God.